Okay, so I've not recorded a video in a while, so I thought I'd give you all a quick update as to what I've been up to before I disappear off for a couple of weeks. Um, but I'm going to record a few short videos so they'll play over that time and they'll be released. Uh, and then when I'm back, I'll give you a full in-depth description of these things. But first, a quick whistle-stop tour. I've been super, super busy at work, uh, working on government uh, stuff. Nothing <laughs> nothing too scary. Just the usual day job, but it's uh, it's been super busy. So I'm transferring over to working mostly on healthcare at the moment. So there's lots of, lots of change going on. Um, but in the meantime, the projects have still been going on. So I've still got the aircraft tracking project. I've been updating the aerial on that. I've updated how the data gets in. And we've added, we've now got 12 ground stations all over the world from people from VMware contributing to it. So that's great. So more on that in an upcoming video. Uh, what have I also been doing? Well, like I mentioned, we're working on healthcare. So we're looking at doing things around smart hospitals. So uh, the guys at Intel, and they're not paying me to say this, but they send uh, some of this kit. So this is really super, super interesting stuff. So this is an Intel uh, Nook Elements box. And uh, this is a kind of ruggedized, but basic ruggedized model. They then do a more advanced one like this. So this is pretty much uh, squaddy proof, as they say uh, over in the UK. And as you can see, loads of ports there. Um, but the idea is that that is a more robust model again and then you can go further up so if you want more compute you can actually take the same compute unit and put it in this kind of rackable uh, mount kit but these are super interesting and i'll do a video about them especially but they've got their own compute modules right so this is the nook elements 11 compute module so similar approach to the kind of raspberry pi compute module uh, but these are full intel chips so you can get you know the latest high powered chips um, with a compute module, or you can get low power, low energy consumption kind of Celeron chips as well, all in the same package. So you can mix and match hardware, and they've got multiple motherboards. Well, I'll cover that in a future video. The reason we're interested in doing that is because they're looking at doing smart hospitals. So, you know, find my syringe pusher, uh, those type of applications. So we're taking some of the stuff I've done on the Open Source Herald project, and we're linking them into these little devices. And the way we're doing that is going to have these little USB keys. So you can't see this, but this is kind of Nordic semiconductor kit. So what that's going to do is going to provide a Bluetooth mesh network secure in the hospital. Um, and as well as being able to track equipment, what it'll also do is provide services to visitors. So as you walk in, you'll use a free Herald app and uh, it'll say, hey, you've just entered some way you can navigate around. Do you want us to navigate there? And you'll be able to do that in a privacy preserving way. So the navigation is done on your phone. You download the map, download the Gazetteer. And you can navigate around um but it's these backbone systems that enable that to happen but you know there's even more remote edge use cases and i see this happening more and more so everyone thinks we're going to move to the public cloud and everything's going to be on a public cloud in central location i don't think that's true and the reason for that is data humanity has generated more data in the last six months than it has in the entire history of civilization so i don't think you're ever going to upload those you know 140 gig mri scan is never going to be uploaded to public cloud and, and shared, right? It's just too big. You're going to want to process that data near where it's been generated, so you decide whether you want to keep it at all. And if you do keep it, you're going to want to run machine learning over it at the edge. So these near edge use cases, these kind of small data centers are getting more and more common. So the Nook Elements kit is great, but it's designed for kind of single desktop or the back of the TV use cases. So what we're looking at in addition to this, I've just taken delivery of this thing. So you might recognize this so this is the desk Pi super 6c so it's an arm based uh kind of motherboard housing based on the raspberry pi compute module 4 form factor and compute module 4 is really hard to get hold of so what i've done is i've ordered a kind of so quartz module which is cm4 compatible um but is a kind of a low uh slightly lower powered version in terms of you know slightly older chip but also uses less power but those chips are super interesting because they've actually got gpus on board and they've actually got a neural processing unit so you can do some really clever stuff on it but at less wattage so for running a kubernetes cluster i'm super interested in that we've even got a, a, a work at vmware we've even got esxi so the vmware server um product running on arm as a little fling kind of demo but people are increasingly asking about you know smaller form factors that you can put in the edge and you can remote manage so that's what we're kind of building here to give people different options um, so that's what i've been working on there's quite a lot to it so we're going to record individual videos and play them over the next few weeks and when we come back we'll crack on uh, and finish some of these demo projects
But thanks for your time. And I, hope, I promise the next videos aren't going to be as long away. Thanks.